It is Manchester United 4, Aston Villa 2, Manchester United through to the next round of the Carabao Cup to the forefront after a second half performance. A second half performance that had about six goals after a lackluster first half. A boring first half where we was pissed off. We was thinking, nah, this game looks like Manchester United might just go to the penalties and potentially lose. No, in that second half, of, co of course, Manchester United turned up. You know, at first, let's get it straight. Aston Villa war problem. The first goal coming from Aston Villa, Oli Watkins, Manchester United were all, all over the place as soon as Oli Watkins scored. We were thinking, oh my God, this is like a stash to free. Are we going to lose? Are we going to lose? Just like the way we lost on Sunday, but Manchester United coming back. Anthony Marshall himself. Bruno assist, Marshall with the tapping, lovely ball. I believe, I don't know if it was from Harry Maguire or Diego Dalo, but I won't give it to Harry Maguire. I'm going to give it to Diego Dalo. I don't know where that ball came from, but finding Bruno Fernandes to, to pass it in to Mar Anthony Marshall to make it 1-1. And then, all of a sudden, it was 2-1. Bailey scoring, but it was a deflection from Diego Dalo. An own goal, Manchester United was 2-1 down in that second half against Aston Villa. But not long until 2-2 Marcus Rashford. Rashford fighting through, finding his way through. Another goal, a lovely ball by Malasio. And I have to say, Malasio had a wonderful, a fantastic game today. His passing was just magnificent. Long balls from range, magnificent. Malasio won a very good game today. Of course, Mark Rash from making it 2-2. Then Bruno Fernandes. Oh. Ganacho coming on having a magnificent game. Another game. Ganacho. Alejandro, my boy, has come back on the pitch. Coming on and just making that impact. Assisting Bruno Fernandes to making it three goals to two. And then doing it again. Assisting Scott McTominay to make it 4-2. Wonderful performance for Manchester United. For Manchester United to win that game. Four goals to two. McTominay ending that. Marcus Rashford had a great game, phenomenal as well. But Ganacho, those last 15, 20 minutes, my God, that guy is just something else. And he will become a brilliant player. Player-wise, in terms of today's performance, Fred oh, wasn't that great as well. But it's, again, he did show energy. Donny van der Beek, the Invisible Man. I, I swear to God, if you guys ever watched the movie The Invisible Man, do you know who was starring in that film? Donny van der Beek himself. He was bullshit again the fewest touches in the first half and then coming off the second half you know what i'm not i'm not here for a witch hunt but i'm i'm i don't know about this donny van der Beek guy if he's gonna be successful at Manchester because it looks like he won't harry Maguire. harry Maguire. what do you expect you know had his he had a good game scott mctominay had a brilliant game Rashford had a very good game as well. Dalo had a good game and Bruno had a good game. Matura Malachi had one of the best games um, in terms of passing and getting himself involved in assists as well. Man of the match to me, guys, for me, has to go to Terrell Malasio. Brilliant. He just reminds me of Patrice Evra. Just ev the way he runs, it reminds me of Patrice Evra. Oh, that guy is going to become a real good player. Don't do the match, Johnny Van der Beek. I've had enough. I'm tired, guys. We need to move on. But Manchester United fans were well, through to the next round. I wish we got the three points on the weekend, but we played full on. As always, guys, let me know who your man of the match was. The donkey of the match in the comments as well. What your thoughts on the match? Because this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivor and Spice. As always, remember to keep it united. Tune in on Sunday. And remember to keep it red united. Your boy is out. Peace!